Hey guys, what's up? So today I went through the list of the original 21 PLLs that I learned when I started cubing and I found that I only still use about half of them and I think that's a pretty normal situation for cubers where you like learn one alg and then you kind of go through several different algs and you learn better and better ones until finally you settle, one, settle on one alg because you get fast. But I think that's maybe kind of an unnecessary process. And so what I decided to do is try to compile sort of a list of a few of the very best PLLs for each case. Obviously it's kind of, uh, it's not just a black and white, this one's the best and this one's worse, but uh, I tried to be pretty inclusive and include several algs for each case that I think are the best. So if you're not using one of those algs, there's a good chance that uh, you need to switch to one that's in the list. So that's the idea, is um, this is just a list of very best PLOs. If you think I missed one, which I know some of you probably will, you can go ahead and watch the part of the video on that case, just to make sure I didn't mention something about it in there and then comment down below and then I might add it to the list in the description. Um, there's timestamps in the description as well and uh, there's asterisks next to the algs that I actually use. So that's it, let's get started. We're gonna start off with the U-perms. Uh, this is the UA perm or the counterclockwise. I don't know why A is counterclockwise, but it is. Um, so this one, the alg I use, is the 2Gen one from the back right here. So. There's also an MU alg for this case from the front right here, so that uh, I use my right hand for my M moves, so I have to do sort of some weird finger tricks. Finally, there's this more unique alg from this angle right here. Uh, I decided to throw it in because it can be really fast, even if it's pretty unusual, so. Now we move on to the UB perm. I again usually do this one from the back, um, but there's two different ways you can do it from the back, um, and I'll show you the difference here in a second. So here's the, uh, the way I do it. But instead of doing that R3 in the middle, you can also execute it as an R prime like this. And you can also execute it from the front, which is probably what most people like to do using the end moves. Um, so. Moving on to the H perm. Um, there's pretty much only one alg that's good for this, um, but you can mirror it so you can do it with U's or with U primes. So it's just. Or you can do it with U moves if you're using left handed U M2s, like that. Now for the Z perm. This is another one where you can mirror it to use U moves if you don't like U prime. So we're gonna execute it from here. And I know a lot of people, when they first start, use this one. And that's actually quite a bit slower than the other one. So if you're using the one that starts with a bunch of M2s, like an H perm, you should definitely switch to this one. And as I said, you can mirror it to use U moves if you want. But I'm not good at it. A perms. Now, if you know anything about A perms, you know that the secret to having fast A perms is being able to do D2 with your left hand, or your non dominant hand. Choosing the right alg is kind of important, although it's really obvious and everyone learns this alg, but the key is having left-handed D2s. That's how you have fast A perms. So anyway, this is the AA perm, uh, the clockwise rotation, so you do it like this.
You can also execute it from this angle, like holding it up like this. So. I'm not good at it. Now the AB perm from here, so what you do is just, just the inverse of the other one. And once again, you can also do it from this angle. Now for the EPERM, and let me just tell you, if you don't use this EPERM, you need to switch, because ultimately this is just the fastest EPERM, even though some people don't like it. So. And the reason people don't like it is that push right here is tough to pull off. It is a hard finger trick to do, but once you learn it, it's useful in many more applications than just an EPERM. It's so useful to be able to have your left hand independently doing your D moves for you. Ooh, that was ugly. Moving on to G perms. This is the G A perm. It's my favorite G perm, one of my favorite PLOs. So I'll show you the way most people execute it, and then I know a lot of you have seen my special execution for this ALG. It doesn't work for everyone though, so whatever. So the way most people do it... And I also have a special execution for this ALG, I have another video on it, it looks like this. Starts out normal, but once you get to this part, I finish it off without rotating like that. There's also an RUD option for this G-perm, um, which I have never learned, and so I won't execute it fast for you, but I will do it slow for you. Like that. I'm just reading it off right now, so... Yeah. Alright, here's the GB-perm, which has the two block right there. Um, few different ways to execute this. The executions are mostly the same, but you can do the first three moves from almost any position. So we'll just start off showing it like this, and it would be like there for the first three moves. Or you could do it R pregnant from R rotate, but most people prefer like this. Also, you can do the first three moves from this angle right here, just like that. And you could even do it from the left side if you wanted to. But those are the first three moves, so and then finish it off like this. There you go. All right, now here's another RUD option that I can't do at all, so we'll try it. <laughs> And one more time. Alright, here's the GC perm. It's the one with the block on the back. There's several different ways to do this algorithm, actually. It's kind of an interesting one. I'll just start with the most basic way. Like that. You can also execute that same algorithm, but um, just a little bit different. So, and now instead of doing a U move or a little U move like that, we can do a D move, an X rotation, and finish it off like this. And that's the way I like to do it. Also, from this angle, you can use this alg. Which is long, but it's it's fast. And the GD perm right here. So this one, there's just a standard out like this. The 
There's also this RUD ALG, which I do know how to execute actually. Now we're going to do some R perms. This is the RA perm with the edges switched over here. Um, this first one's kind of a variant on the J perm, so it's much better for big cubes, um, and it's also quite good for 3x3. So that's like a J perm. So that's quite fast. There's also this RUD alg from the same angle. There's that same finger trick from the EPERM right there. RB perm. There's also two quite acceptable algs for this. So from this angle. And there's also this one. Alright, now we're going to do the J perms. This is the JA perm, and there's like 15 great algs for it. So I'm just going to go through them. Um, the first one, executed from this angle with the two switch blocks at the back. Like that, so it's... Ugh. The next one is pretty much the same thing, but you execute it from the front, just a little different. So you start with L prime U R prime, then you rotate to the side and finish it like this. Ooh. You can also execute it from this angle. And this is a really weird alg, so you rotate down here. And that is a really strange alg, but it works really well. So from here. And full speed. Ugh. Last but not least, you can just execute this like a lefty would and do like this. This is the JB perm, and there are not 15 algs for this one. I think there's actually only one alg that's the best. And maybe somebody will argue with me, but I doubt it. So it's. And if you don't know that, I don't know what's wrong with you today. You can also execute it um, like this. Either way is good. All right guys, time for the M perms. So this is the NA perm. Um, the most common alg uh, is just to set up to a J perm. So that would be, and now you've set it up to a J perm where these two blocks need to switch. So you go ahead and execute that J perm. And then you finish it off by undoing your setup moves. So here it is all together. You can also do a Z rotation and execute uh, this alg from here. So, Ooh, that was terrible. I can actually sub one that, but that was awful. What?
Here's the NB perm, and for this one I actually prefer to rotate to the Z on the Z axis right here. So there's that same finger trick you can see, I use it quite a bit. There's also another pretty decent out for this case. Um, I find it to be just a little too awkward for me to use, but it's alright, so... Yeah, you get the idea. Now we're on to the loners. So this one is the Y perm, right here. There's two algs that I think are good for this. There's also some alternate ones floating around out there that are okay. Um, so this is the one that almost everyone uses and the one I use. There's also another alg. It's actually a cancellation of a couple OLLs, as is the other one actually. <laughs> but it's really fast. Not a lot of people know that out, but it's really Now we've got the dreaded F perm. Um, this one, almost everybody uses the same ALG, but there are actually some other alternates that are pretty okay, so I included them. So the normal ALG everyone uses is a setup to a T perm. From this angle, there's another alg that's kind of similar to the V-perm that we'll look at here in a second. Just like that. And I'm not too great at that one. Next up is the T-perm. Pretty much everyone knows this and everyone does the same thing, so... Yeah. Lastly, we have the V-perm. Um, this is the one that most people use right here, the one I use. There's also this RUD L, so. Like that. Uh. Oh my gosh, this is ugly, guys. There you go. Yeah. Okay, so those are what I think are the best PLLs. Uh, go yell at me down in the comments for the ones that I'm sure I skipped. I thought it was worth at least a try, and you can see some IPL executions too. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. See you later.